Would you rank sugar as one of the biggest? Terrible. I'd rank it as terrible. You, okay. <laughs> so if you survey kind of the landscape now, is yeah. sugar at the top of your list of yeah. the, the, the silent killer that's out there in everything? Everyone's addicted to it. Yep. That's, you know, a cat, speaking in broad categories, yeah. paint with broad strokes, but still, mm-hmm. would you rank sugar at the top? Absolutely. And it's really interesting. You can look at a brain scan and it will look um, similar to um, when you, you know, crack cocaine, sugar will light up the brain in the same areas. So its qualities are as addictive as crack cocaine. That's why, you know, none of us really want to have the conversation about giving it up. Yeah. Um. But interestingly enough, once people do, they actually feel a lot better. Um, it's just hard to maintain in our society. I did it, in, I think, in January um, for, I think, close to 60 days. And uh, it was it's difficult to maintain because, like, even condiments... Mm-hmm. Have it in it. Cans of ketchup, beans. A lot of sh- ketchup have, and has a lot of. Oh sugar. my gosh! Yeah, I, I only did mustard, um, which okay. you have to find sugar-free mustard too. But it's it's just yeah, you can't necessarily go out and not be exposed to it. So mm-hmm. it beca- starts to be get a, feel a little legalistic, you know. Sure. Yep. But yep. yeah. Well, one of the things that's frustrating to me about the sugar thing is, it's like man. It's it's so hard now. Like, guys, do we have to make it this hard? Like, I do want to be healthy. I do want to eat clean. But mm-hmm. golly, it's it's hard. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to know these things. I wouldn't have known that ketchup had a lot of sugar in it without Mariana. Like, there's a lot of this stuff I would have no idea if I just hadn't just so happened to marry Mariana, who's interested in these things. Yeah. Like, in the it's not common knowledge. You have to search it out. Mm-hmm. Um, but speaking of sugar, this book is is pretty fascinating. Food of the Gods. Uh huh. Um, the f- the first half, I mean, it's um, the first half is maybe uh, not so helpful, but it's all about um, well, drugs, quite frankly, plants, human evolution. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it talks a lot about in the second half. It talks a lot about uh, particular. Th- um, commonalities that go with like dominator type societies. So it's why, you know, there's no dominator society better than I think what we have right now in America. Right. And so what's very common, sugar, mm-hmm. very common, uh, caffeine, mm-hmm. very common, uh, tobacco, mm-hmm. very common. Like mm-hmm. those things are accepted. They're not just accepted. They're like, they are pushed somehow. Like you're kind of cool if you're kind of cool if you have a cigar with a bourbon, while you're at your country club, but you're a freaking hippie if you're smoking a joint, Mm -hmm. you know? And there's just, there's these, these things that are like, not just accepted with certain societies, but like promoted. Mm -hmm. And sugar is absolutely one of those things. This gets into how sugar and the slave trade was actually tied together as well. It's a fascinating history. Yeah. But, uh, but a lot of people don't, don't know, don't care, but even for people that do know a little bit and care a little bit like myself, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to eat right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just is. 